Hey, what's up, guys? This is Deshaun McNeil, a.k.a. the Golden Knight of Team Ham. Here to explain to you guys my Gold Paladin deck profile. I took this deck to world, made fourth place, had a lot of fun, met a lot of cool people, had a lot of really interesting battles. It was just an all-around great experience. All right, guys, let me get into it with my deck profile. Start with my triggers. I run four of the Heal Guardians, mainly because... These triggers help out against multiple decks. They also help out against early game rush. They're grade three, so they're searchable. There's, I just don't see a reason why not, I wouldn't run them. Sure, they're 15K over the basic kill triggers, which are 20K, but when you're playing with Gurgawit, that 5K isn't gonna matter. If anything, that nagging five saves you early game. So that's a plus for me. All right, next, I'm gonna talk to you guys about my crits. I run one two three four five crit don't ask me why they're all different named i like keeping my opponent guessing i was gonna originally go four 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 for the trigger lineup just make it all rainbow but i figured because core is my starting vanguard a front would help out but crits give me an all-around good push early game because i need my opponent to be at high damage for my deck to be at its peak efficiency it's still gold it's still multi-attacking but other than hitting trigger powers or having multiple excel circles for gurgoit i really don't have power so i gotta try and hit my opponent before they start hitting all the defensives all right next i'm gonna talk to you guys about my fronts i mainly only run through front because gurgoit skill is amazing plus units i call out get an extra uh, X amount of power based off of how many cell circles I have. Typically, I'll have two to three. That front trigger power is just icing on the cake. It's also good early game if I can see one early. I saw it early a couple of times in some of my matches, and I got to swing some really high numbers because of it. So, fronts are good for early game pressure as well, but I think crits are more effective, especially when you're going to Worlds where it's Sac City. All right, so my draw triggers, I run four draws because my deck is a combo deck so i need to make sure i can see my pieces also gurgle with skill i can call a perfect guard from my deck if it's on the top five and guard with it it's a really good card to have especially if you're playing gurgle it uh, i maxed them out at four all right so now i'm going to talk to you guys about my grade ones starting you off with fast chase liberated joseph joseph is a very good grade one to run in golds his ability is whenever he gets called from deck, I can soul blast one to counter charge one. If I soul blast another one, I can draw a card. So essentially for two soul blasts, you can draw a card and get a counter charge. He's Dendrain in one card. He also has a Vanguard ability. Whenever something rides on top of him, I can look at the top card of my deck and I can either leave it on top or I can call it. His skill works really well with Aglovel because Aglovel's skill is counter blast one, look at top three, call a card. Joseph's skill is when something rides on top of him. So you can do Aglovel and then Joseph and then combo off of that. All right, so next I'm gonna talk to you guys about Dendrain. I run Dendrain at three because one, she's a 7K. Yeah, she has a counter charge ability. She procs well with Wonder Ezel, so I can get a counter charge if my opponent damages me, which is why I keep her at three. I don't max her out at four because she is a 7k. She's only really good at boosting. Dendrain's a good card, but she's limited. And in a rush deck, I have to keep that balance. So that's why I run three of her and three of Joseph. All right, next. I'm going to talk to you guys about my boy Gorbadon. Gorbadon is the best card in my deck for grade ones. Every time I use his skill, I always got a search that I needed. It was either my Hill Guardian, my Gurguit, my Holy Shine. Like I never missed a grade three search with him. So I was either I'm getting a three out of my deck just for filter or I'm getting a three out of my deck for a combo piece that I need. Gorbadon is the greatest grade three searcher for golds. All right, so I went run one Chloris. Chloris is a really good grade one. He's good against decks that, that call multiple grade twos or have units like uh, in Luard where the grade ones have intercept. Uh, his skill is when he attacks, as long as I've called at least two cards this turn, he gets plus five. If I call four, 
on his attack, my opponent has to intercept with all units possible. So, if your unit has intercept and it can intercept, he's going to force it out. He's really good against the Pro Sisters, just to make the Grade 2 intercept, so that makes the whole combo useless. And I can also kill the Grade 1 if I want to, but that's neither here nor there. Chloris won me so many games in my Houston Regionals, I had to keep him in the deck. So, I kept him up at 1. My Grade 2s. Starting you guys off strong with my boy Fallon. Fallon is a grade two that has an on-hit ability. When his attack hits Vanguard, I can look at the top card of my deck and I can either call it or leave it on top. Kind of like Joseph, but it's just on hit. He also has another skill. Whenever a unit gets called from deck, if he's on rear guard, he gets plus 5k. It doesn't stack, but as long as I do a skill one time where I call something from deck, He's a constant 14k the rest of the turn. On Excel Circle, he's 19. On hit pressure is really good because your opponent doesn't want you to plus. So it's going to make them want to guard rather than take the hit. And that's why I like Fallon. He keeps up the pressure in the deck. All right. Next. I'm going to talk to you guys about Aglaville. I run for Aglaville. Mainly because Aglaville is the only card I have in my deck that can soul charge. So soul is very important for me. But also because he's a liberator and he has a vanguard ability that lets me call a unit. Aglaville is the best universal grade 2 for golds. He's splashable in any build. He's a great way to ramp soul really quickly. He combos well with every part of the deck. With where If, if I have to ride core, if I have to ride gurgoid. Aglaville can make things happen. And that's why I like Aglaville. All right. Last but not least, my Wonder Ezels. I ran three Wonder Ezel. I don't max him out because he is a combo extender, but he is useless to me early game. Unless my opponent stars me a counter blast and then he's good, but he's mainly only meant for those late game push plays. Wonder Ezel is a staple for anyone who plays Gurgoid. So if you guys don't run him in your decks, you might want to think about uh, trying him out. Next, I'm going to talk to you guys about my grade 3 lineup. I run 2 Mock Slash. I only run 2 Mock Slash. I've only ever run 2 Mock Slash because he has no Excel Circle, guys. If I ride Mock Slash, I've seen firsthand, I'm not winning that game. Like, there's no recovering from riding a grade 3 with just only Twin Drive. I'd rather stay at grade 2 at that point. At least I can still use my Hill Guardian. But I still run Mock Slash at 2 because using his ability to help me extend my combos, that's literally all my deck is, is just combo extending. He help, He works well with Core. He works so well with Gurgwood. Great card, guys. All right. Next, I'm going to talk to you guys about Holy Shine. Holy Shine is a really good tech card. I run him at three because I like the gimmick and I want it to work. So Holy Shine's skill is whenever he rides on top of a Liberator, does not matter the grade, counter blast one, search my deck for a grade three Liberator is not Holy Shine and ride it there's only one other target core riding him gets me two excel circles and if i'm at four damage by the time i use his skill i get to look at the top five cards in my deck after i rolled my gray three and i can call two cards from it and i shuffle my deck so holy shine literally sets me up with two excel circles if i'm at four damage two rear guards depending on those rear guards i call i can either gain more hand or just have some really strong power hitters being ready and willing to break faces all right next i'm gonna talk to you guys about core core is my setup he is the vanguard that i would rather ride first over holy shine core is the better starting vanguard mainly because he has a vanguard ability that lets me call two cards off from deck sure i don't get to shuffle but it's sack one call two if i go second he gets a crit as long as i call aglaville and no matter what first or second he gives any unit that gets called out from deck or hand plus 3k so i can make really strong power turns just off of his skill alone early game if my opponent's still at grade two deadly it is just deadly especially if i use excel one. Oh my god i tried it it is destructive last but not least gurgoid i run gurgoid at three because he is meant to be my finishing vanguard he's not meant to be my starting grade three vanguard I still need to do my setup before I can utilize him to his fullest potential. That being said, there have been games where I've had to ride Gurgwit as my first grade 3 vanguard. And at that point, the rest of the Liberator core just becomes useless. Well, at least the grade 3s do. If I come across them in searches, I'll try and filter them out somehow. But once I ride Gurgwit, it's like riding a grade 4. You don't want to go down and ride Liberators because you're just setting yourself up for failure. 
Well, guys, that was my deck list. I really hope that you guys liked it. I hope it was informative for all you gold mains out there. Let me know if you have any suggestions on my deck. If you have any questions on it, I'm happy to answer them. I love talking golds. And stay tuned for my uh, Spectral Liberator deck. It was actually the deck I was going to take the worlds at first. And then I tried to gurgle it. Peace. All right, guys, y'all take care. And thank you again for watching. Oh, no.